Okay guys, got the wheel off, <clears throat> got the motor off, and it just slid right out of there, just like I said. I'll do all the wires, all the hardware, such as the wire, the ground wire, which I actually forgot to undo from the, what do you call it, the, the, the frame. That's easy fix. Uh, I'll do all the wires. This is why I decided to take it off from here so I can work on all this. I'll take this thing off, the rest of the mounting bracket and the torsion bar. I'm going to take these guys off. I'm going to clean this thing up, probably get me a new carburetor, paint it all up, and go from there. Took all the hoses, hoses off. Hang that up here. Make sure I didn't want to. <coughs> Dang, bless me. Make sure I didn't bust this thing up. I took it out of there. And uh, like I said, I took the two bolts from the mounting bracket here, here. These two shocks fell right out. Torsion bar. And I took the front wheel off. That's simple. I think I'll put it back on just so it's easier to roll around. Just for temporary until I get to the car. I can manhandle it in there. Got a little bit of a gas leak. Probably just a little bit of something that's left over in the hose. I'll pinch that up somewhere. Not too worry about it. Then I'll start taking off this all this equipment bring it all the way back down to the bare frame take this box off take the lights off clean up everything get this all back together yep yeah. so that's what we got ice bear rebuild february 1st keep you all updated on what's going to happen i'm going to take some of my good flex seal I know this is really good for heat. Clean all this up. Make this thing look nice. I'm gonna do a, a cherry red and then cobalt blue. Frame's gonna be cobalt blue. All the accents are gonna be cherry red. And of course, I'm gonna keep the chrome all around. I ain't painting no damn chromes. Chrome looks good. So here we are. And that's what we got. My ice bear. This is gonna be mean when I'm done with it. See if anybody keeps up with me. We got new variators, new belt. It's already a new clutch. Fix up that tire so it's not leaking like it does. Just a bead leak as far as I can tell. And uh that's pretty much it. Hopefully I can loop this video in with the last one. If not, we'll just one thing at a time, buddies. All right. So keep on riding.